In this video, we are going to talk about the brief history of painting. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The expression of ideas and feelings through the construction of specific aesthetic qualities in a two-dimensional visual language is what painting is all about. On a flat surface, the elements of this language its shapes, lines, colors, tones, and textures are used in a variety of ways to create perceptions of volume, space, movement, and light by combining them in a variety of combinations. These parts are combined into expressive patterns in order to portray real or supernatural occurrences, to interpret a narrative topic, or to build entirely abstract visual associations in order to represent real or supernatural phenomena. A painter's decision to work in a particular medium, such as tempera, fresco, oil, acrylic, watercolor or other water-based paints, ink, gouache, encaustic, or casein, as well as his or her choice of a particular form, such as a mural, easel panel, miniature, illuminated manuscript, scroll, screen or fan, panorama, or any of a variety of modern forms, is based on the sensuous qualities and expressive possibilities the artist's choice of media and form, as well as his or her personal method come together to create a one-of-a-kind visual representation. In the past, cultural traditions of tribes, religions, guilds, royal courts, and states largely controlled the craft, form, imagery, and subject matter of painting. They also determined the function of painting, which could be ritualistic, devotional, adorning the home, entertaining the public, or educating children. Painters were hired more as skillful artisans than as creative artists, which was a departure from the norm. Later, in Asia and Renaissance Europe, the concept of the fine artist began to take shape. Paintings by prominent painters were accorded the social standing of professors and courtiers, they signed their work, determined on its design and, in many cases, the subject and iconography, and developed a more personal if not always amicable relationship with the people who bought them. Painting first appeared in prehistory, when nomadic tribes drew pictures on rocky walls to mark their territory. They drew pictures with charcoal and left marks in the caves as they passed through to document their journey. According to a recent discovery made in Spain, the oldest artworks known to date were created more than 42,000 years ago by humans and were painted on cave walls. The earliest painting was created by primitive men, and it is said to have been created by Homo Neanderthals during the prehistoric era. Archaeological excavations conducted out in Europe, Africa, and Asia have revealed that primitive men were the first painters and sculptors and that they used these talents to demonstrate their daily life to other people. Archaeologists and anthropologists have been examining and dating these discoveries for quite some time now. The artifacts recovered from the excavations are historical documents, authentic testimonies of the origins of human life in prehistoric periods and of long-gone civilizations. Historiographers believe that the origin of painting as we know it today began during the Neolithic period, X millennium BC, when rock painting began to decline as a result of the development of agriculture and society. It first appeared in ancient Greece and was perfected later by the Romans, according to historical accounts of the period. It was around 3000 BC that tiny villages began to form on the Greek mainland, and with them, a practice of painting on ceramic artifacts, such as vases and pots began to flourish. In Crete, beginning in the 2nd millennium BC, a monarchical society with sophisticated urbanization, including palaces, was established. It was there that the first signs of mural paintings appeared, though only a few fragments have survived the passage of time. Early Christian painting served as a transitional period between painting in antiquity and painting in the Middle Ages, and it continued to provide significant subsidies to the painters of the Renaissance, Neoclassicism, and Romanticism. Due to the fact that art has existed since the beginning of time, painting has a significant historical significance. Artists such as historians, philosophers, and anthropologists are attempting to uncover the mysteries of our own existence, and painting is one of the methods they employ in an attempt to explain the formation of extinct civilizations and cultures. Through art, we are able to comprehend the history of humanity. Throughout history, mankind has attempted to communicate his or her beliefs, activities, daily life, and perception of the world around him or her through cave paintings or other forms of artistic expression. As a result, the history of art is typically arranged into periods that correspond to the growth of civilizations itself. 
Painting is so significant that it has evolved into one of the most important modes of representation and communication, beginning with primitive peoples and continuing through the Renaissance and into the modern era. Painting techniques have evolved in response to the development of modern art and new technologies, resulting in the development of new forms of representation and visual expression. Several artists experiment with painting in conjunction with other art forms, such as photography, for example, creating collages and prints, and as a result, new movements of painting, such as data and pop art, are born, resulting in the development of new forms of visual expression and representation. From rock painting to pop art, we can say that the significance of painting is that it has become a means for humanity to express itself, and that it has influenced our culture, politics, and economics since its inception. Painting has overcome territorial and technical barriers and reinvented itself over thousands of years. The picture follows the human individual throughout his or her entire history. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.